Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example, we're trying to figure out, first of all, if it converges. And if it converges, then we have to find the value of that integral. So we're going to integrate from 2 to infinity, the function 1 over the quantity x minus 1 to the 3 half powers. Now remember that when we have a function like this, when we integrate from 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the n dx, it will converge if n is greater than 1. So when we take a look at this exponent right here, since this is greater than 1, and the minus 1 here simply moves the function over one number to the right, or one, one unit to the right, we can say that this probably converges under the rules of comparison test. So then we simply have to evaluate it. I'm going to rewrite this function. We can say this is equal to uh, the integral from 2 to infinity of the quantity x minus 1 to the minus 3 halves power of dx. That makes it easier to integrate. Now all we need to do is add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. So this is equal to x minus 1 to the minus 1 half power divided by the new exponent, minus 1 half, and evaluate it from 2 to infinity. Simplifying this a little bit, we'll put the 2 in the numerator, put the negative in front of that, so this is equal to minus 2 divided by the square root of x minus 1 in the denominator. And now we can evaluate it from 2 to infinity. When we plug in the upper limit, we get the following, minus 2 divided by the quantity infinity minus 1 to the 1 half power, subtract from that, minus 2 divided by, when I plug in the lower limit, I get 2 minus 1 to the 1 half power. Okay, evaluating that first fraction, notice that infinity to the 1 half power is still infinity, and anything divided by infinity is 0. So this becomes 0, and the minus times the minus becomes plus, so plus 2 divided by 1, the square root of 1, which is simply 1, or the total value of that integral equals 2. So first we use the comparison test to realize, yes, that will indeed converge, and then we just go ahead and integrate and plug in the limits, and that's how it's done.